Thank you for joining me on Legislative Update. I'm your State Representative, Norm Johnson. Several days ago, we took the first critical vote of the year on the budget. You've probably heard there's a budget shortfall of nearly $5 billion projected for the next two years, and soon we will be dealing with that budget. But we have an immediate problem with the operating budget for the current fiscal year, which ends June 30th and that's a $600 million shortfall. Both the House Republicans and the majority party submitted proposals to shrink this budget deficit. Going through this process and realizing there's not enough money to fund everything, we have to make priority decisions. House Republicans are asking the question, is this a need or a want? In other words, what do we need to fund rather than what we'd like to fund. And for us, it comes down to three priorities, education, public safety, protection of our most vulnerable citizens. Our proposal will have eliminated programs that unnecessary state expenses, such as the General Assistance Unemployment Program, also known as GAU. GAU is a program that provides cash assistance for those transitioning to Social Security disability benefits. It's also a redundant state expense because there's a similar federal program those on the state program can move to. We had to make the choice of whether to keep GAU or protect funding for education, especially the kindergartners to fourth grade classrooms. My Republican colleagues and I chose to protect education. Funding education is not only a need, it's a state constitutional mandate. In fact, it's our paramount duty. Unfortunately, the majority party chose instead to save, to save GAU and retroactively eliminate funding for K through four class size reductions. That means they're going all the way back to September to remove those allocations from school districts which have already hired the teachers, and that's going to be devastating to schools. Where are they going to find that money? Although this budget proposal preserves the Yakima Valley School in Sela, I am also very concerned about the provisions and the majority's party proposal to close the Francis Haddon Morgan Center in Bremerton. This is a facility that takes care of people with autism. Again, protection of our state's most vulnerable citizens must remain a top priority in the budget, as well as funding education. That's why I voted against the majority party's proposal. Unfortunately, it passed by a vote of 55 to 43. During the weeks ahead, as the legislature makes decisions affecting each of our lives, your input will be very important. Please call, write, or email my office with your comments and suggestions. I appreciate hearing from you. Thank you again for joining me on Legislative Update. I'm your State Representative, Norm Johnson.